This is a quick video demonstration of how to connect your cameras using a plug and play cable or a Siamese cable. To start, uh, you will need certain tools. You will need uh, the stripper tool. For you to, if you're using Siamese, you're going to have to need this tool for you to prepare your cable. Uh, cutters, uh, screwdriver, if you're going to use a power supply like this, that it has multiple connectors inside. You will need a screwdriver for it. And uh, you will need the BNC connectors. They look like this. These are twist-ons. They are not uh, uh, BNC compressions. Uh, for this demonstration, I'm going to be using only BNC twist-ons, which is the common way to do it. Uh, PT3, or a flying lead, this uh, cable is going to be connected to uh, the end of the cable where the camera is going to be hung. So uh, the other end will be connected straight to the power supply. Um, a knife, if you need to uh, cut certain things on the cable, and of course your camera. So uh, also I'm going to be explaining how to use plug and plays. Plug and plays is a cable that is already pre-made. It has the, B, uh, the BNC and the power connection leads already attached to it, and it will look something like this. Okay. You have your both ends of the powers. If you notice, these ends are completely different. This side is what it goes to the camera, and this side is what it goes to the power supply. If you're using, uh, normally you will use with this kind of cable, it's up to you. You can use a powers box like this, but you will need to attach another extra uh, connector to it, which is going to be something like this, a PT3 flying lead. You connect this in there, and then you will connect this end of the cable to it, just like this, for you to uh, power up the cameras, okay? Uh, or you can use a regular 12-volt DC. It will look something like this, you know, like we sell on our, on our website. They are called T2000s and T1000s and uh, T5000s, and normally uh, with the four-package camera will come with it, and it will come with the splitters. So the splitter you will connect it in the end of the power and then you will split the signal to four cameras. I have uh, something like that for uh, an eight, an eight type of connection camera. It will look something like this. This is an eight to one splitter. So you will connect it in the end of the power adapter. You will plug it in like this and you will power it up all of your eight cameras if you have to. Okay? So, the simplest way for you to do the with the uh, plug and play cable is very simple. One end you will connect your camera, and on my case, I'm going to use this is the end that I have to connect the camera to. So first, I will connect my BNC connection, then my power. Just notice I haven't plugged in the power yet, so this is recommended to do it that way. So uh, the other end will be connected on the back of a DVR on one of the inputs of the DVR. Then I will connect my power. Okay, uh, that basically will end up the connection, and you will be able to see uh, the video, the display video on your DVR. So this is the simplest. Uh, configuration if you're using plug and play uh, but now if you're using Siamese cable which is a better cable uh, you have to prepare the cable okay so let's end up taking this as I said it's very simple with the BNC plug and play cable the, the connectors are already attached okay but now we're gonna use a Siamese cable a Siamese cable, it's a cable that it has an 18-2 for your power, a black and red for your positive and negative to power up the camera, and it has uh, the coaxial cable or the BNC RG59 cable. The RJ59 cable has inside, it has a mesh and it has a copper in the middle. The copper is what transmits the video. 
So for you to prepare the cable with the stripping tool, you have to make sure that it's calibrated and you need to cut the cable at least three quarters of an inch. So three quarters of an inch for the inner copper and three quarters of an inch of the mesh or the outer uh, mesh that the cable has. So I will do that. I will cut my cable and just plug it in right here. A little pressure there. And then just pull it. You see if you notice with the stripper tool is much easier because he already cuts the cable as it's supposed to be. So this is how the cable will be cut and you will see this is the mesh that I was talking about. This mesh cannot be touching the inner copper otherwise you will get uh, a black screen. You will not get uh, video properly. So what I will do is I will separate the mesh make sure that it's not touching this copper. All right. You separate it and then I will attach my BNC twist on. The BNC twist on has a thread inside and it has a middle hole where you have to put the copper on it, the, the middle copper. So I just have to make sure that it's going in correctly. Alright, so I just put it in. and I start twisting it. That's it. Okay, now the twist on is firmly there on the cable. Now my next step is taking and exposing this cable for, uh, for me to put the PT3 connector. So I will use this cut this shield All right so this is what it will looks like so this part you have to take it off and then just expose just a little bit of copper you can use either beanies you can use also tape if you like to and it's very simple to connect. I mean, it's, it, it, you have to know how to prepare the cable, otherwise you will have you know, issues on the connectors and all that. So once I already have this uh, prepared like this, my next step is connect this connector, okay, the PT3. So I just have to match the colors. So red with red and black with black. For this demonstration, I will use a beanie. I just put them together, just like this. And this is a beanie. Or you can use the ones that you twist, and then you can, you know, to attach this to. I just put it in. All right look something like this. Then I have to tie them up by pressing it. Okay. The next one will be the same. I have to use another thing for me to put the other one. like that. Make sure it's firmly there so no copper is exposed. Okay, again. Okay, now this is how it should look, look like. So it will be this and this. Okay, so now that I have my and where the camera is going to be plugged in, I have to prepare the other end. And it's the same procedure. Again, I'm going to cut this so I can expose the shield.
this is a much better cable, it's a better, um, the components of the cables are much better and they are durable so they can be exposed to the elements, you know, to, uh, uh, this, you know, the elements outside and uh, also you can put it on conduit as well. So again, let's prepare this. Okay. So again, I have to separate the mesh out of the inner copper for me to prevent any type of ground issues or video issues or something like that. It's very, very important that you do it this way, otherwise you will have problems while displaying the cameras to um, the DVR. So once I separate everything, I'm ready to put the twist on right here. start twisting out. As you see, there is very little mesh exposed, if none. So um, that's the best way to do it. Now on this end, it's up to you if you wanted to put it connected directly on your power supply. So, um, so you don't have to put another connector on it. So remember, and this end is where the camera is going to be plugged in, okay? This is where the camera is going to be plugged in, where the one that it has the PT3 on it, or this type of connector on it, okay? And this end is the one that goes on the back of your DVR, on one of the video inputs, and this is what it goes to the power supply. Normally the power supply will be next to the DVR. Okay? So the next step is plug it in into your power supply. Separate this more. Power supply this, I'm trying it on a, I'm testing it on a 16 channel power supply. It has 16 input tests, it actually has 18. So they're properly labeled. DC you have positive and negative. So the positive on this one, if you look inside, it has the positive and it's the top row, okay? There is a positive right there, and this is the negative. If you put it backwards, you're gonna burn the camera, okay? So uh, this is your top row is the positive and the uh, bottom row is the negative. So the next step is to put the cable. Now if you notice, the power boxes have holes that you can, that's where you're gonna feed the cable through. For this demonstration, I'm not gonna do that, but uh, that's how you should do it, so it's properly installed. So now I'm gonna use this. Just untie it just a little bit. You don't have to take the whole screw out. I'm gonna connect my positive. Make sure that you, of course, you do this without uh, the power supply to be on. Just, just so you're reminded. So I have my connectors already made and make sure that they're firm. So the next step is connect the camera. So now this end will go into one of the video ports of my DVR. This is a 16 channel uh, mini LT. So they are uh, 16 channels right here it says video in. So I'm going to connect this on video number one. Okay. Notice that I'm not turning on any power yet. So the other end, of course, is where you're going to plug in your camera. First, if you notice, I always put first the video, then the power. Okay. There is my video right here. There's a power connector. Okay. Now I have everything on. The next step is to power it on the power box. I have the power supply right here, I have the cable. 
right? This power box has a switch inside. So there you go. You turn it on, and there you go. And just uh, these lights will turn on as long as you have the green light right there. It's good. And this is the result. That's my video of my cameras. If you notice, they are working, and it's me making the video. Okay, so as I said, it's very simple, it's very um, important that you configure your uh, cable or you make your cable correctly, and uh, you know, you make your connections, everything correctly, because otherwise you're gonna either have issues trying to view the video or trying to display the video on the, on the DVR, and, uh, or you can burn the camera, okay? So I hope this has been important and informative to you, and I would like to thank you for viewing.